Alright, so give the man an ice cream. Okay. Okay, now make it... Make it heavily raining. Okay, this is cool. Now make the man ride... He's riding a bike with his ice cream. Now this is pretty easy. Okay, remove his hand from his face. Okay, now I'll, I want his jacket. Remove his jacket onto a white background. Okay, this is pretty cool. Okay, so I have a picture of this car here, which is pretty blurry. Zoom onto it and make it HD. Okay, now this is the HD version. So this is pretty cool. Make this image anime style. HD Star Fantasy style. Low poly 3D style. As you can see, this image editor that I'm going to show you is pretty insane. So watch till the end to learn all the things that you can do with it. So I'm going to show you many more things that you can do with this image editor, which is currently now for free to try. Hello everyone. So we have a new image editor that is insanely good and it's by Black Forest Lab, which is the team behind Flux and it is one of the top image models out there. And they just released this super powerful model called Flux Contest. So we can generate images like the general Flux model but you can also upload an image and edit it and that's the real game here as you can see this is the image generated with flux1 and these are the context images that are created by these images so this website is now totally free you can try it i'll give the link in the description box you just have to log in and you can try it for free so when you try to log in you will get 200 free credits to start with and one generation cost four credits so you can create 50 generations so just continue with google and and after that you'll be in this page and here you can upload your image and here's the model as you can see you have flux one context pro which is we're going to use it and we got flux point one context max which is the best model they have described that this is the best model but it takes some time to generate and they have flux one pro ultra and the other model that are cooler models that we use now as you can see here i have a photo with a lot of watermarks so i'm just going to upload this after uploading this, here are the settings with the three-dot menu. This is the batch size, how many images that you want. So I'm just going to give it two. And this is the safety tolerance. If you want prompt of sampling, you can turn it on. But we're just going to edit some photos. And this is the format, what kind of format that you want. And this is the aspect ratio. So my photo is 16 by 9. I'm going to choose that. And what I'm going to do is tell it to remove the watermark. Remove the watermarks and take sub page. Now, as you can see, this is the photo that removed all the watermarks from my original photo. So, this is the original photo which have a lot of watermark. And these are the two photos that created when I tell it to remove the watermark. So, it's pretty simple to remove the watermark now. Now, we can edit more further from here. So, just click on edit and tell it to describe what you want. So, I just described give more flowers and submit. Here's the four result that gave me, which with more flowers. And actually, this looks pretty insane the number two here's the number three and here's the number four so i just remove all the watermarks from this photo and then tell it to keep more flowers and it really give me more flowers now so here's i have a photo a man drinking coffee on the park i'm just going to say give him ice cream now you can see i it create me two images this is the first one it's like he's holding ice cream the second one is more perfect now i'm going to say make it rain so just going to click edit make it heavy raining and submit and these are the four photos that generate me and it really look like it's heavily raining so this image is perfect here i'm just going to click on edit so i just said make him riding a bike in a road with that ice cream as you can see he's riding a bike on a road and holding the ice cream so this is the first one this is the second one which is a bit of glitchy here and this is the third one and in the fourth one he just lost his ice cream I want to see if this is good with text or not. So this is a AI image which is some text here. So I just give a simple text, replace the AI to not AI. So here's the two photos they made me, which has completely removed the not. This is not AI to only not AI. And the second image is more perfect, which is this is not AI. This is what I want. So it is also good in the text. So here's another thing you can do is here's a picture of a car which is kind of blurry. So I'm going to upload this picture and make it to now I'm going to tell it to zoom in the picture and as you can see this picture is kind of blurry so I'm going to make it with more details and make it more HD. So I have uploaded the image and I'm going to change the resolution to 4.3 as the image is 16 by 9. Now I just keep the prompt here, close up of the car, all the sharp details of the car and this, and this is a professional photograph. So I'm just going to click submit 
Now this is the two image. This is not the right image that I want. Look at this image. This is the image and it give me this image to the exact car and uh, with ultra sharp details. So here's another cool feature that I'm going to show you is that here I have an image with a jacket which is a cool looking jacket and I just want the image of the jacket here. So I'm going to upload this image and tell it the extract the jacket from the image onto white breakout product photography style. For this I'm going to choose the aspect ratio as 4.3 and submit. As you can see here's the image like a product photography style. This is really insane. So this is the image the guy is wearing this jacket. And this is the image exact jacket like a product protocol style. So this is the first one and this is the second one. So here's another image I have which is a black and white. So I'm just going to make it colorful. So I uploaded this image and tell it to make it colorful. So now here's the colorful image number one and this is the number two. You can also change the color and also if you want to change the background of this picture just go to the edit option. So I just tell it to change the background to an urban street and submit. Then it changes the image and change the background to an urban stage. So here's the number of image. That's the number two. So here's another cool trick that I'm going to show you. Like if you will like a design or anything else that you want to add in your own photo. Like a t-shirt or mug or any product that you want. So I have a design of a Mandela design here. So I'm going to add this design to a mug to show you. That if you like any design you can add it to test it yourself. So I just tell that add this design to a coffee mug in a close-up shot with blur background. Now look how cool is that. You can, well, we can create any design from other website and add it to this website and check for yourself how it's going to be look like. So this cup of coffee, the mug looking very beautiful. So they have another option in the left here which is called fill. So if I go to this fill option here I have to drop an image. So I just drop an image here of a retro room here like a 90s vibe so if you want to change something or add something you just have to select the area to fill so if i want a clock here i'm just going to move my cursor like this and describe what i want to change let us simply tell add a clock now these are the two generations that give me so it's going to remove the poster here and as you can see it add a clock which is white, I guess you can also tell it what kind of color that you want or what type of watch that you want. And this is the second generation. This is another cool feature that you can do with your own image. So here's the last thing that I want to show you. So this is the image that I created uh, two samurai, Japanese samurai eating a meal together. And I created this anime style as you can see. I tell it to create it as anime style. Then I tell it to create it Pixar movie style and the generation. Then I also tell it to make it a Netflix movie style or Hollywood movie style. So this is the generation. Then I tell it to make a 3D or low poly style. This is the generation. And lastly, I tell it to 80s dark fantasy style, which is looking pretty good. So that's it, guys. This is the all the things that I want to show you with the new insane image editor, which is called Flux Playground with the Flux Point on Context Pro. Right now you can try it for free and get 200 credits or 100 credits. I got 100 and 200 credits in different accounts. So the link in the description box, you can go check it out. And I always come up with the latest AI news and latest AI tech tutorials. So if you found this video helpful, please subscribe to this channel and thank you for watching.